Such an important project happening here in downtown Vancouver. Lest we forget, Canada is a project by Foster Eastman that will help veterans transition into life after they have served. We're going to talk about the project and how you can help coming up next on BT. Stay with us. A very important project happening at a downtown gallery here. We are here with the artist himself and the person who has decided that you want to help our veterans, people that are transitioning into life as they once knew it. Uh, Foster, tell us a little bit about the project that you're working on. Well, the project um, was um, inspired by watching the news every night and you would see some young man or woman that was killed by an um, improvised explosive device or was killed in Afghanistan. So I created a series based on that and then from that we've developed a, a, a mural to help uh, recognize those that are coming back from Afghanistan. So we're taking a look at the mural right now. How many panels is it comprised of and what does that represent? There's 162 panels represents every Canadian that was killed in Afghanistan. Okay, so let's move inside here right now where we are working with what kinds of materials for this project, Foster? Well, there's many layers to this uh, these panels. We start with pamphlets. These are training manuals. We actually use vintage training manuals for these specific panels. And these um, are on combat, they're on survival, on first aid. And what's important is that you actually have veterans and families of veterans working on this project. Tim over here uh, with the Veterans Transition Network, who of course this project actually supports. What kinds of things when you came back did you go through that you really felt that the VTN helped with? Yeah, you know, it was, it was funny. It wasn't like you see on TV. There was nothing really big and major and wrong with me. I just felt emotionally there's something a little bit different. You know, to survive in Afghanistan, you sort of have to suppress your feelings. You can't be afraid. And coming back to the civilian world, that obviously doesn't work very well. So the Veterans Transition Network really helped me sort of tell my story and uh, reconnect with myself. And working on this project, what does that mean for you to be able to do that? Yeah, it was a big step, honestly. Um, when I came back home from Afghanistan, I, I didn't ever really look at the names of the soldiers that died on my tour in 2008. It was just too much for me. Um, but coming here and working on their panels really allowed me to kind of you know, deal with that and process it for the first time. So it's been really impactful. Wonderful. Well, we're going to hear very uh, many more stories about the, how VTN helps. Uh, also, incidentally, Jody and Riaz, each of these panels that's worked on by a veteran or a family member gets to sign it as well as part of this big art project that will be displayed on April 16th that's in its right. entirety, unveiled. People at home can also sponsor a panel, co-sponsor a panel. If they want to help in any way, they can go to Lest We Forget. Forget.com. Lest we forget Canada.com. Canada. Yeah, lest we forget Canada is an art mural that allows veterans to help veterans. We're going to show you a little bit about the panels that we're working on. We're going to speak to a wife of a, of a veteran and find out how uh, the Veterans Transition Network actually is a little bit different than counseling. What makes them unique? Stay with us. You're watching BT. Yeah, Lest We Forget Canada happening at a downtown gallery in Foster. It's just around the corner, April 16th, the big unveil. That's correct. Tell us a little bit about the panels that everyone's working on. Well, this is a series of different layers. Uh, the layers that we're working on, the end here, are uh, laser copied photographs um, and they're pixels of a larger image. And what we're doing is dissolving the paper and revealing the image underneath. Okay, so we've got one that's sort of being worked on right now. Tell us a bit about the process. Um, well, that's a polymer that we're using to, to glue on um, the name of the soldier, their rank, their age, and how they died and when they died. And that'll be glued on, and then once it's dried, we dissolve the paper and reveal the image. Now, the timing for the big reveal, uh, Tim, of this project here, um, lest we forget Canada, is super significant. This is yeah. an important month. Yeah, yeah. The last of the Canadian soldiers are coming home from Afghanistan. Uh, 40,000 will have served in Afghanistan altogether. And that's why the Veterans Transition Network, it's really important for us to, to get up and running because we see the need for the veterans being three to five years after they've come home from a place like Afghanistan. How are you different than just regular counseling? Well, a big difference with our program at Veterans Transition Network is that we actually have other veterans in the program helping the veterans. It's a group-based program opposed to doing the one-on-one -on -one counseling with a therapist who might not know all the, the ins and outs of what it means to be in the military. And it's about teaching people how to be able to talk to their families, including their wives and Daphne. Um, your husband, who is also, I guess, the project leader, is that the right, yeah, of this project? Um, but obviously, you know, as a spouse, you would have had to go through some certain things. What kind of changes have you noticed uh, in how he's kind of reintegrated into the uh, quote-unquote normal life? Uh, well, my husband came back from Afghanistan in 2010 and did this program in 2013, and it's had such a significantly positive impact both on our relationship and just on and his ability to reintegrate and to um, 
have this support system is pretty phenomenal. Well, it's wonderful to be able to have the Veterans Transition Network to help uh, those that have served. There are ways that you can help, including with this project. As we go back to Michelle, let's take a quick look at the mural once again. The big unveil, Michelle, going to be happening April 16th, but they still need sponsorship for the various panels. For ways that you can help, you can go to lestweforgetcanada.com. Big mural happening here in downtown Vancouver with the big unveil on the 16th. Um, Foster, the one thing we, you want people to know is these were real people. Yes, we've had many emotional moments when you're working with the veterans and sometimes I didn't realize, you know, when they are revealing what's underneath, these are quite often their buddy. This is somebody that they were served with and uh, they become very quiet and uh, it becomes very respectful and it's almost like tending their tombstone in, in a way. And it can be somewhat therapeutic as well. Let's talk to Jason who is with um, the Veteran Transition Network. Uh, it really is about veterans helping veterans. Yeah. Yes, uh, I took the program after my second tour. I did the, uh, the VTP and uh, I, I really wanted to give back because I got so much out of that program. So I volunteered to uh, be one of the peers, so the, one of the veterans helping the veterans, being the bridge between the clinicians and uh, the veterans taking the program. And what does it mean for you to be able to participate in this project? It, well, it's amazing. I know, uh, I know a few of those guys up on the wall personally. So, uh, you know, uh, I haven't actually done uh, one of these murals, but uh, I definitely will be down uh, here volunteering because it means so much. So we have people that may have a personal connection or, or even some sort of exposure to someone who is represented on these. Uh, and then we've got civilians that are participating. So we've got Renee and Nicole. Why would, why would you want to be a part of this? Um, to basically be able to give back. We, we don't really have many um, ways to, to show that we care. And this has been an incredible opportunity for us to, to create awareness and, uh, and yeah, take part. And Nicole, do you think that, you know, when we, when we talk about remembering, you know, lest we forget, we, you know, Remembrance Day, we wear the poppy, yeah. doing something like this and sort of seeing someone's name on there, does that give you a, a more intense perspective of what it is we are remembering? Yeah, and it, it's something that we're remembering not that long ago. A lot of people, like I feel the connection to war is a history where this has kind of just opened up my eyes realizing that this is actually very much this day and age that is still happening. So that's definitely been fascinating for me just to uh, get involved and, and almost educate myself more. And to hear the stories of people that have served, even as a civilian, to be able to have that unique perspective. Let's take another shot as we go back to the host of the, mur the mural. Lest We Forget Canada is going to have a big unveil on April 16th. Jody and Riaz, uh, People can still help by either sponsoring a panel or co-sponsoring a panel, all in support of the Veterans Transition Network. More details, lestweforgetcanada.com. And it's all about support to our veterans here on the Live Eye as well. Lest We Forget Canada is an art mural that's being created here. We're going to tell you a little bit about the project itself. Stay with us. You're watching BT and, of course, how you can help. Yeah, here to Gallery 1445 West Georgia, where we are talking Lest We Forget Canada. And uh, you have the big unveil, Foster, coming up on April 16th. For those that are just joining us, give us a little bit of idea of what this project is about. Well, the project is made up of 162 panels. Each panel represents a Canadian that was killed in Afghanistan. And what we're trying to do is bring awareness to the survivors of war and involve the community into participating. Because many Canadians are just frustrated and want to do something, and this is an opportunity where you can actually do something and make a difference. And you were, uh, you know, you were really inspired on the fact that um, so many those that served that came back really felt hopeless, and that suicide was a big issue. Yes, and it is. It is a big issue, and and I think we've witnessed in December and January there were seven suicides, and we have forty thousand troops that have been in Afghanistan, and we have a full pullout now in March, and I think we're going to see a lot of problems with these veterans coming back, and they need help. And the significance of what the materials you're using are, I'm holding what? You're holding a PAM, they're called, and these are training man training manuals. Um, this is a vintage one, and these are um, what the soldiers study when they are training to be in the military. And so those are part of the artwork, the panels that are being created here, not only by veterans, but also by civilians or people that have a relationship to someone who have served. Tim, with the uh, Veterans Transition Network, um, obviously the significance of this month mm -hmm. and this project, what is it that you hope to receive help with with the Veterans Transition Network? Yeah, well, with the, all the awareness that Foster's brought to this issue with, with the Lest We Forget project, it's been really tremendous. And obviously, a big part of what we do is get veterans in front of professionals 
professionals and that costs money. So the sponsorship of these panels is really key in helping us, you know, meet the need that, uh, as Foster mentioned, is going to be growing now that the last of the Canadian soldiers have pulled out of Afghanistan this month. And for anybody that is at home watching right now and they have a loved one that is coming back, um, what's that going to be like for them and how could this program help? Yeah. Well, I think one important thing to remember is most Canadian forces who release are, are good to go. You know, they're, they're, they're set in what they need to do. They're going to make a successful transition because they're highly talented people. What our program does is builds on those strengths and helps make sure that they can fully utilize them in the civilian world. So if you have somebody you know who's in the military, who's getting out of the military, I'd say direct them to our website. Try and get them in one of our programs because we can help make sure that they do transition successfully. And these programs cost money and this project, lest we forget, Canada is helping support uh, the Veterans Transition Network. For more details on how you can support by sponsoring a panel, you can of course go to their website. As we go to break, let's take a look at the actual mural that will be officially unveiled on April 16th. Lestweforgetcanada.com is the website. <laughs> 